Max may not got the result he wanted, but how significant and potentially valuable was his effort tonight? That was good. I mean, he regrouped, regrouped and, I, and I told him, when I, you know, he came in he, um, <clears throat> after, you know, it's like I, I could have got him or whatever. And I think, and you know what, I had somebody up in the first inning for you and you went into the seventh inning. That was pretty good. So he regrouped and, you know, it was kind of, that was big. I mean, he gave us a chance, you know, he held the game there for after the first inning for six innings and, and gave us a chance to come back and we just we couldn't get a big hit. You know, we got hit some balls good. They didn't go our way and play tomorrow. And, it, and this leaves you in a maybe even better position than expected. You know, we're good. yeah, we're in a good spot. I, I you know, we're, we're in a good spot. I like the guy that we're going to pitch. The bullpen, everybody can pitch. Everybody's available tomorrow. And, and um, you know, <laughs> we'll see, uh, see what we do. Go ahead, Chris. Yes, sir. When you talk about getting the big hit, obviously, the second inning there when you loaded the bases with nobody out, just not being able to uh, capitalize there. Yeah, no, I mean, it was, it was like he loaded the bases and then kind of elevated his game there. I mean, um, yeah, obviously, you'd like to get at least one out of that. We couldn't. But there's a couple other times, too. We had runners on, and, and you know, Austin just missed a, a homer. Um, Azuna's ball, you know, made a great play. That's over a little, you know, it's to the right a little bit. It's a homer. I mean, you know, it's just, uh, I don't know. You got you to gotta do it. But. <clears throat> Go ahead, Maria Torres. What have you thought of Kenley's performance the last couple of nights? I think he's good. He's got us out. Does he look better to you than he did previously? I, I haven't seen it. First time I've seen him all year. Okay, hey, we'll go to you, Hannah. Hey, Brian, you, you mentioned having someone up for Max in that first inning. Did yeah. you see something from him change to give you the confidence to stick with him, or was it just that he got out of that inning? Yeah, I know. He got out of the inning, and, I mean, obviously, we said going in, when Max needed to stretch the game for us. He needed to pitch. He might give up runs, but, you know, that, like I said, that, that's a lot of those conversations are good in the morning, and then when the game starts, I mean, you're not going to just let a, somebody hang themselves, and, and um, uh, the, the, it was a little fluffy in the first inning. Then he regrouped after he got out of that inning, after the runs, and, and settled in and got us to the seventh inning, which good for him. You ended up, he ended up throwing a career high. Was What was working so well sort of the rest of the game for him that, that that gave you the confidence to not just stick with him in that first inning, but let him get so deep into the yeah. game? No, it's good. And, and that career high isn't a lot of pitches. It's, I, I said it's – and I just talked to him, and I was like, I'm a, I'm blown away that that's your career high. Hundred, You know, 140 ought to be a career high, not 107 or 8. You know, I mean, it, it's um, – in the industry where we're – it's – like bells and whistles go off at a hundred pitches now. And, you know, guys like Max got locked in today. He probably could have thrown all afternoon. He probably could have thrown 200 pitches once he got his rhythm and his, del and everything rolling. And, and, um, uh, <clears throat> but you know, he just, he was, he got, I don't know. He regrouped after the first inning, got locked in, started hitting. Everything was crisper. The velocity picked up, the breaking ball was tighter. Um, he, he it, it was, it was really good. Go ahead, Jeff. Yeah, Brian, you referred to this a, a little bit, but uh, you've actually had a number of situations in the last two games with runners in scoring position, um, and you haven't been able to come through. Is that is that Dodger pitchers just making good pitches, or is that you guys just not taking advantage of the situation? Well, both. I mean, it's, it's uh, I think it goes hand in hand. Uh, you got to give credit where credit's due, and and uh, they got really good pitchers over there. They bring guys out of the bullpen. You know, when you're bringing guys out of the bullpen with a hundred mile an hour sinkers, that's, that's kind of hard to get a hold of. And, and they got experienced guys and um, just it, it's baseball. It's, it's just what happens. Sometimes you get on rolls and, and you get in those situations and, and guys are finding holes or getting big hits. And sometimes they aren't, I, I don't think um, just because it's the postseason that automatically it happens. This is baseball. We're playing a baseball game and, and, um, it, it's just one of those things that, you know, the other night we kind of handed the baton off and kept it going and, and mounted some runs and um, <clears throat> tonight we couldn't, but it, it's the second inning when we got loaded the bases, that kid 
elevated his game. I mean, that stuff went up a click. So, you know, it's, it's you got to take your hat off. And then one more thing um, in the sixth inning, um, uh, Ozzy hit the ground ball and he didn't realize uh, that the ball had been dropped after the tag. Did, yeah. did, did anybody on the field yell at Ozzy? You know, he dropped the ball. It, it didn't matter. He couldn't, if anybody yelled in the field, they wouldn't hurt him with all the noise going on in there. I guarantee you he felt the tag and thought he was tagged out. He what did had no inclination that the ball popped out. Um, and he just, he thought he was out. Thanks. Go ahead, Alex. Hey, Snake, game seven tomorrow. Uh, just kind of we'll, what's your message to the guys? What they present? No, they know. I don't have to have a message. They know what we're doing. They're very aware that this is game seven. And – um, shoot, we'll go out there and let her fly. We're going to play, you know, a game seven is another baseball game. You, you can't treat, it's not fourth and one and let me get the first down. It's a baseball game. Okay. And, and you have to treat it as such. Um, and it's game seven. It's going to be fun. We got, we like how we're stacked up. We like who's pitching. Um, I think the guys will be excited and it's going to be a fun time to play in it. Go ahead, Jeff. Jeff Passon, sorry, go ahead. Uh, what's the best game seven that you've been a part of? And and sorry? what I know you what's the best game seven that you've best been a game part seven? of? I don't know. I haven't had one yet. Hopefully tomorrow is. <laughs> go to you, Mark. Sorry, Mark, I think you're muted. Sorry, uh, Brian, you said a couple of times you like you have the guy you have pitching tomorrow. I mean, you've talked about Ian's composure. How do you think he'll be able to handle the pressure of a game seven tomorrow? I'm hoping he can. I, I don't, you know, I, how do I think? I think he will. I think he'll handle it great. And why do you feel that way based on what you've seen? Sorry? Why do you feel that way based on what because you've seen? The experience the that I've had with this kid for the last two, two months, and, and he wouldn't lead me to believe any other way. Okay, with that, we'll wrap it up. Thanks, Nick. Hey, thanks.